Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Recap. This is the show where I look at your comments and react to them. Please excuse the voice, it's a bit nasally. I have hay fever again. I took some medication a while ago so it should be fine pretty soon. We're going to look at the latest episode which is episode 93 about the succulent show and it's my most ambitious video to date and definitely the longest video so far. So during that cactus show, I was there on both days, Saturday and Sunday. On the Saturday, I mostly focus on buying plants, getting new plants for myself, increasing my collection. And on the second day, the Sunday, I spent my entire day just filming all of the show plants. I went through them one by one, doing a close-up and taking note of the names. I have, I believe I have covered most of them. I left out a few plants, I think, maybe a category or two. But nevertheless, I'm pretty happy that I managed to grab a photo or a video of most of them. If you haven't seen it yet, and if you are into cactus and succulents, then I really recommend that you watch it. So for episode 93, I actually released five videos. I have about two hours of footage, and what I did was I split it into four parts each part about half an hour long so that gave me four videos and the fifth video is a full-length version just everything in one go and that's for those of you who decide to do a marathon and just watch the whole thing in one go so a set for those who decide to watch it in smaller chunks half hour chunks is still big and another set for those who decide to watch it all at once and because of that I gotten lots of comments on all five videos so let's go through them slowly one by one let's start with the four part series and I'm looking at part one from Steph's Collections. I have been following this channel for some time and it has inspired me to make my own succulent videos. That's great to know, Steph. Um, here's a link to Steph's channel and I think Steph already put out a few videos, so let's send some love over to Steph's way and see what Steph has in store for us. From Alex. Brilliant video, man. The music was perfect too. Can't wait to watch the other parts. Some serious work went into, into this on your part. All the text must have taken ages. <laughs> exactly. I finished the first part about, I think, a day, a day after, or two days after uh, when I started editing it. So if you recall, I filmed it on the Monday. Ah, I filmed it on the Sunday, and I started working on my template. I I was figuring out how I would chop and slice the video. So that took me the first two days, just deciding on the format. Each video thereafter took about a day or two. I was working on it on and off because I still have my day job. So whenever I had the free time, that's when I would look at the videos. And yeah, lots of time went into adding the tags, the names, and that's mainly because I, I also verify just to see if the names are correct. So I would uh, go on to... So I would hop on online, check out uh, various resources, check if the names are correct. I've also consulted some of my uh, collector friends. Shout out to Ron Apostol in the Philippines. He's the man. And as for the music, I made sure to pick out something that is chill, pretty chill, laid back. Because if you're going to go on a marathon, you shouldn't be too tense, <laughs> if that makes sense. So yeah, that explains the theme, the mood, and whatnot on this video. From Emre Kuzu. Thanks. You're welcome. From Succulent Living by Maria. Thank you, beautiful cacti. I'm glad you enjoyed them. From August Dreamland. Excellent video, Chuck. From a video like that, I found your channel a year ago. So cool you give us the names. So many species. Olga must be referring to my Succulent Show video from last year. And yeah, it was a long video. And at the time, I didn't spend too much time going through each and every plant. It's, it was more of just a preview I guess just show a highlight of a highlight of all of the show plants yeah I didn't take much footage back then so I didn't think I was going to be this serious with the hobby now looking at part two from Kevin D Cruz I love this video I wish I could have all of them <laughs> don't we all <laughs> there's a lot though from Julie Dorling superb job Chuck thank you so much from Succulent Living by Maria by the way, these five videos are awesome for finding IDs. Yeah, I'm glad you find it useful for that purpose because I was hoping to be able to do a bit of service as well. So it's not just fan service for showing you all of these plants, but it's also a way for you to match up, check against your own plants and see if you, uh, the labels are correct. So yeah, and another comment. This was so much fun to watch. I really enjoyed seeing all of the aloes and their names. Music was great and I like how you slowed down the video so it stays on each plant just at the right time. I figured some of my panning, my movement, the, the real-time movement was a bit fast because I was 
boom, boom, taking a video of each plant. So I thought of slowing it down in post-production just to give a better view of the plant itself, especially since, um, especially since there's a lot of them. So yeah, I'm glad you appreciate that move from Alex. Dude, these videos are absolutely top quality. The Australian Cactus Society would love to see it. Yeah, I made sure to share this with some of the exhibitors in the exhibition. In particular, I sent this to Christine McLeod, John Rower, Miles Brown, Felicity Wood, Peter Braley, Wayne Robinson, and of course, the society itself. They were pretty happy about it. I got to have a bit of chat with them. They're pretty chill people and yeah, really fun to talk to. I guess we collectors are a lot the same, you know? Once you get us talking about a subject, we just keep talking on and on and on. So yeah, it was really fun. We're now looking at part three from Rudy's Succonet Obsession. I missed most of this live since I was at my son's baseball game, so I'm back to watch it. I saw some amazing cacti and the blooms had me smiley heart face. <laughs> Part of the intention of this series was to provide a glimpse of the show for those who can't make it, so I'm really glad that you enjoyed it. From Jeff, 1435, those always look like exposed intestines to me. Very cool plant though, thanks for covering this event for us. <laughs> yeah, that was an Echeveria Etna and I really love caranculated plants, so I wish there were more of them in the show. There wasn't so much of them, so... Yeah, <laughs> from Erin S. So when are you going to enter some of your beauties? Hopefully, maybe next year. And one of the requirements, of course, is to be a member of the society. And I'm thinking of joining. So yeah, it would be fun. Another comment. I just spit my drink everywhere when I saw Harry Ball's third place winner. <laughs> you love the Harry Balls, huh? <laughs> from this Mark Luna. That guy, Anton Guzak, is one hell of a collector. Yeah, his name is everywhere. Him and Peter Braley. From Alex, Peter Braley didn't half enter a lot of plants, huh? These videos are an amazing resource, Chuck. Thanks so much. Yeah, I've had a chat with Peter Braley. I told him that I was so amazed at the extent of his collection, the range. He was collecting all across the board, not just a focus group. And my mind was blown. Could only imagine what his house, his uh, dream house, or his garden looks like with all of those plants. If this was only maybe 1% or even just 10% of his collection, then imagine what else he has at home. Finally, part four. From Jeff, I want the Haworthia do not touch. <laughs> to which I responded, Haworthia no limitangere. From Erin S. The judging on Haworthia was awful. Okay, not awful, but confusing to say the least. Yeah, uh, there, were, there was a lot of categories, subcategories for Haworthias. There was a soft leaf category, hard leaf category, and there was, I think, under those categories, there was also a size category underneath. So a total of four. Is it four? Yeah, something like that. So I'm not much of a Haworthia collector myself, so I have no nothing to add. <laughs> yeah, I don't know much about them. And another from Erin. Yes, you need to enter your Echeveria next time. The plain cactus is fun and the colors come out in the hot sun. You said you liked it after the Astrophytum. I have one that's bigger and kind of nicer than Peter's, but I'm biased, of course. <laughs> Good luck entering. I know you'd win, but judging on those plants were inconsistent, especially the Haworthia. Thanks for uploading. It was a joy to watch. Hey, you should share me the photo of that plant. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> From Fab911. Yeah, you should try this competition. My favorite cacti is Apuntia, so easy to propagate. Yeah, watch out next year. From Alex, part four. I'm working my way through. You made it. And finally, the full video. So from Marine Slime SG, can I know why you have not been participating in the show? So the answer, the reason is pretty simple. I'm not a member of the society yet. I'm thinking of joining the competition next year. So I guess I better start preparing. From Give It To Grow. Hi Chuck, I'm only a bit into the video, but I am loving it. This must have taken forever to edit, but I really appreciate all the plant's IDs. The reason I'm commenting before watching the rest is that I'm very much enjoying the music. It's Epidemic Sound The Band. The song playing around 1648 made me stop to inquire. So if you're also making videos and posting to social media, you might be interested. So <coughs> what I replied with is saying, Epidemic Sound is a music library. They offer subscription-based service which allows you to use any music that's already pre-approved and won't get you rights issues, issues on YouTube and other platforms. That's the first part. The second part is, the music at 1648 is Green Hills. 
instrumental version by Sebastian Forsland with a link in here. Apart from Epidemic Sound, there's a lot of alternative services such as Soundstripe, Artlist, and a few others whose names I can't remember. From Aneta S, can't take my eyes off the screen. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so glad you like it. From Fran Life, nice video. From Gwen Ott, one can see the dedicated effort you put into this video. Plant identification, award placement, and accompanying music. Thank you, Chuck. Can't wait to see your future entries. <laughs> it's going to be a year in the making, so... Uh, seeing how I try to reach that point would be very interesting. That also means that I would need to find suitable pots for it, and I'm not, I'm not much into pots, so we'll see. That in itself, I think, would be a fun experience. And finally, from Succulent Fame, awesome video. Thank you for sharing, Chuck. And I'm so glad you enjoyed Sheila. And that's it for the comments from the previous episode. I'm going to leave this preview for the next episode for you and that explains why I have all of this pulse right here. Here's a teaser. So here's the five mature Echeveras that I gave the chop back in episode 85. This one is the Echeveria Caranculata, Big Red, Pastel, Red Sapphire, and Blondie. And seeing that this is supposed to be episode 94, that means that it has been about 9 weeks since then. And surely there must be some development since then, right? So let's flip them over and have a look underneath. That's it for DC Recap. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.